All right, this is part two of the Transformers 2020 free list. Let's get into it. Number 13, the good old 13. Transformers Studio Series, Rise of the Beast, Airazor. For my first ever Studio Series Rise of the Beast figure, it's cool. There's, I don't have much to say because she didn't appear much in the movie and didn't really speak out to me. But she is a nice figure. Will I get it? Would you, should I recommend you get it? Yes, you should. Like, it's a good fig. Don't get me wrong. It's just, she wasn't very that notable in the movie. But, yeah, uh, should you get the figure? Yes. Uh, I don't have much to say, so that is number 13, Transformers Studio Series, Rise of the Beast, Air Razor. Alright, this one is my fav one of my favorites on this list. Number 12, Transformers Legacy, Armada, Starscream. I love this figure. I love the the character in or I love Starscream and Armada. It was so n cool. He was so amazing in the damn movie. And movie, I mean show. It wasn't Armada wasn't a fucking movie. I mean, it could be technically, but anyway, yeah. Should you get this figure? Absolutely. If you don't, if you want an Armada figure, get the Star Spring. Get all the Legacy Armada figures. But yeah, should you get Star Scream? Absolutely. Because this is an awesome, awesome damn figure. But yeah, number 12, Transformers Legacy Armada Starscream. Okay, the first Transformers Legacy Evolution figure on the list. We are in number 11, Transformers Legacy Evolution Junkion Crash Bar. I, I love this bike. This bike mode is so cool. Like, shit. It's just a m junkie on motorcycle. I love it. I love it to freaking death. It's so damn cool. Ugh, sorry. I just woke up in the making of this. This part. But yeah. Transformers Legacy Evolution Crashmer. Should you get it? Absolutely. I mean, if you can get two of them, go for it. Since if you want to make the Junkasaurus Rex. I'm not do making that damn thing. Because I'm not getting two fucking crash bars. Bars and axle grease. A tow line and a trash bag. Just to fucking make it. Make the junk Junkasaurus Rex. But like I said. You should get the figure. It is fun. My one problem is. <sighs> sorry again. Um, there's too many accessories. It comes with one, two, three, four accessories. Which is a lot. Probably the most accessories I've ever had on a single figure. But yeah, Transformers Legacy Evolution Crash Bar. Should you get this figure? Absolutely. Alright. A core, another core class for the list. Number 10. We're in the top 10 now. Transformers Legacy Evolution Dinobot Scar. I love this guy. This guy is so much fun. I'm still dying to get the other Dinobots to complete Volcanicus. Oh, fucking Christ. I'm tired as hell, weirdo. though I just fucking woke up. Probably, that's probably why. But anyway. I love this dino mode. It's so cute. 
Like, it's just so thick and adorable. I love it. Like, who the hell doesn't love a tiny freaking Ankylosaurus? Or as I like to call them, Ankies. But, yeah. Should you get this guy? Absolutely. Fucking lootly. This guy is so much cool. So much fun. He is so cool. I love it. But yeah, we're in the top 10 now. Number 10 Legacy Evolution Dinobot Scar. Alright, number 9 Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class Menaces Prime. This is my second ever Menaces Prime figure because there was because for the 30th anniversary they released a core uh, they like to call it Legends class back then the Menaces Prime that came with a freaking pink helicopter that turned into a gun into a robot it was like a mini con of some sort but yeah this figure is fun he is fun to transform, but my, hold on, my one complaint, well, actually, I have two complaints. The sword, that the, the teal axe does not peg in very well into the vehicle mode where it's supposed to, but my other complaint is the head. Ever since I transformed it for, like, the first, ever since I transformed it the first time, and wants to keep falling off during transformation because they have it on a mushroom peg. So it easily just falls out every time I transform it. And it's always such a pain in the ass to get out. That is my one problem. It does not hinder it that much. It's just a small complaint. And I'm pretty sure that's on every fucking copy of this thing. But yeah, that is... Yeah, that's my only two complaints. One of them being small and the other one being kind of serious. Ooh, oh, sorry again. But yeah, should you get this guy? Absolutely. And I just hit myself in the glasses with it. But yeah, this guy is fun. Totally recommend. So that is number nine. Transformers Legacy Evolution. Core Class Menaces Prime. Alright. This one is one of my favorites. It's not as high as I wish it would be. But it's pretty decent high up. Number 8. Transformers Studio Series 86. The Core Class version. Ironhide. This is my first ever official Ironhide in my collection. Since the fucking. Combiner Wars one. Because. I have a other. I have another iron hide. But I don't remember getting that thing. So. At all. So yeah. This is my. First ever official iron hide. Since the fucking Combiner Wars one. And that dude just vanished. Without a trace years ago. So, to finally have an updated Ironhide in my collection is fucking amazing. I wish it would have been the Voyager one first instead of the freaking Core Class one. But you do what you have to deal with with what you have to deal with. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, for it being a Core Class, it's good. It's really fun. My want complaint is, and it's pissing me off ever since, and would have been higher if this complaint was not so serious. Every time you freaking transform this thing, hold on, I gotta transform it, so that way I can understand what I'm saying. Every time... Um, I get into robot mode. The window of the car, the front window and side windows of the vehicle mode, slash the chest piece for the robot mode, 
has a easy tendency to fall right off. Like, it's so loose too. Like, you keep the head, you put the head in its robot mode position, and the thing just likes to flop around. You know, like it's at a, like it's a drunk uncle. It just likes to flop around. It doesn't like to peg in when it, you're in the robot mode configuration. That's my only complaint about this figure. And that is why it's so this spot on the list. It would have been higher if it wasn't for that complaint. But yeah, Transformers, Studio Series, 86, Core Class, Ironhide. Should you get this guy? Just get the Voyager one. Because this one is not as good as the Voyager. Alright. That is number 8. Transformers Studio Series Core Class Ironhide. Alright. This one is awesome. Number 7. Transformers Studio Series Rise of the Beasts Bumblebee. I love this car. This is my first ever Studio Series Bumblebee. I think I grabbed the right one. Because it is so goddamn fun. And it's so goddamn cool. The weapons are fucking awesome. Aired all they went fucking missing in the making of this. Somehow they went missing. I don't know if they are missing or not. But they freaking vanished somehow. I was trying to transport to the location I'm making this video. But, yeah. Should you get this figure? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. This figure is so goddamn fun. It's so goddamn cool. And the vehicle mode just mwah, screams the movie. Like, sure, he didn't have much screen time in the movie. But for the screen time he did have, the vehicle mode's fucking perfect. Well, it represents the end of the movie, not the beginning of the movie, what he looks like in the beginning of the movie. It represents what his vehicle mode looks like at the end of the movie. But yeah, should you get this figure? Absolutely. This figure is fun. Totally recommend getting. But yeah, that is number seven. Transformers Studio Series 8, right... I almost said 86. Rise of the Bees, Bumblebee. Alright, number 6. Transformers Studio Series, Rise of the Bees, Nightbird. The reason why Nightbird is higher than Bumblebee is because, one, she had the mo more screen time than Bumblebee did. And two, her vehicle mode is fucking awesome. Like... It just screams the movie, and it's an officially licensed skyline, for God's sake. It is so cool, so much fun, totally recommend getting this girl. Yeah, I am very happy that I got this figure this year. <sighs> oh, God. But do I recommend getting her? Like I said, yes, 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 and yes. I don't know if I'm going to get Battle Trap or Scourge because they're expensive as hell and I haven't found them in any stores yet. But yeah, this is number six. Transformers Studio Series Rise of the Beast Nightbird. And also her sword is pretty freaking cool. I forgot to say that. Her sword is pretty cool looking. But yeah, this is number six. Transformers Studio Series, Rise of the Beast, Nightbird. Alright, this is a retake, because fucking someone had to interrupt me. But, like I said in the first part, we're in the top five now. This is number five, Transformers Legacy Evolution Armada Megatron. This figure is fucking fun, it is awesome, and I can't wait to get the Optimus Prime to go right alongside this guy. Having those two duke it out 
It's going to be so much damn fun. I can't wait to take some photos with these two side by, with those two side by side. But should you get this guy? Absolutely. Fucking lootly. This figure is fun. It is awesome. And I just. I just geek out every time. I transform it. And have it in my hands. Because I have an Armada Megatron. For God's sake. And now. We are getting an Energon Megatron. Which is going to be coming in. Well it's actually in now. But I won't be able to. Record it. Get that video up until the 6th. Because I'm visiting family. And I'm not going to go back. To the house I live at. Until the 6th. So yeah. Kind of fucking confusing. But either way. Should you get this figure? Absolutely. It is so fun. It is so cool. The tank mode's awesome. But yeah. I'm going to stop rambling about this guy now. Before I ramble forever. Number five, Legacy Evolution Armada Megatron. All right, the last Legacy figure on the list for the 2023 Transformers list of 2023 is number four. Transformers Legacy Evolution Armada Hotshot. I love this thing to death. It is so cool, and it's so fun to mess with, and the fact that it was repainted and it came with a fucking jolt, our first official Minicon, Armada Minicon, on a, for year, after like years of asking for them, is fun, it's cool, it's amazing, love this thing to death, should you get this? Absolutely, especially if you have the Armada Optimus Prime that was released in Legacy Evolution as well. The two pretty much go hand to hand. It's like, uh, I don't even know how to describe what else goes hand to hand. Fucking Pokemon about Pikachu. Those go side by side. But in this, Hotshot goes alongside the Optimus Prime. If you don't have the Armada Optimus Prime, get the Armada Optimus Prime if you have the Hotshot. If you have the Armada Prime, get the Hotshot. Because they both deserve to be by each other. But I'm going to stop rambling about that. My thoughts on the figure are, like I said, it's fun, it's awesome, and I can't wait to death for your Mana Prime. But yeah, that is number four. Transformers Legacy Evolution Armada Hotshot. Alright, this one is fucking awesome. Number three. The Transformers collaborative with Jurassic Park. I, ever since this Sep was revealed. I wanted it so damn bad. And the fact that it's now in my hands, I love it. The only complaint I have is the fact that freaking JP93, the plastic, it's not like good. Like, I don't know why, but. A, pl a piece of plastic broke on Trionicon Rex, like, in JP93, like you saw in that one video months ago. Two pieces broke off due to transforming and damage. And the damaged one was my fault. And the damaged one was JP93 to the door. But even with, if I... Even when I had the suck JP93 and Trinacon Rex in their robot modes, they were fucking awesome in their robot modes. They looked cool as hell. And the weapon for JP93 is so goddamn cool looking. Like, yeah, I honestly am so happy I got this. Do I recommend getting this? Absolutely. 
especially to go along with the recently released two pack, which I'm hoping to get next year. Because if I do get that two pack next year, dude, it's gonna be so fun having those, having the JP12 and Dial Off of Con Rags or however the hell it's set and there's it called. Have them side by side by the OG JP93 and Trionicon Rex. And I haven't even talked about the T-Rex mode. The T-Rex mode is fucking gorgeous for Trionicon Rex. Like, the color is banged on to the movie. It is so cool looking. And the fact that I have a transforming Tyrannosaurus Rex in my collection now just makes me so happy. Dude, I have wanted, like I said, I've wanted this two-pack since its release. It is so cool and to finally have it in my collection. Dude, it just puts a smile on my face every time I think of it or see them. But yeah, that is number three. We're in the top three now. Transformers. Jurassic Park, and Transformers, Corroborative. Alright, we're in the top two now. Transformers, Studio Series, 86, Sludge. Okay, I'm gonna just ram ramble for a little bit, so bear with me. Love the robot mode, love the dino mode, the paint apps is fucking perfect, and it's so goddamn chunky. I love it. And, the Robot and Dino modes look so goddamn good. Like, I love the way they look. They look so much like the show. So much like the damn movie. It's honestly criminal. Criminal. I don't have the other Studio Series 86 Dinobots. Erdo, when they start making the Bayverse bots again, I'm getting Scorn. No question about it. I'm getting my hands on a Scorn. Because... Scorn just looks so aggressive. But that's just not the Michael Bay Dinobots. This is the Studio Series ones. But yeah. Do I recommend this figure? Absolutely. It is so much fun. It is so cool. I love it. So yeah. Number two. Transformers Studio Series 86 Sludge. Alright. Number one. For the 2023 Transformers list is none other than Studio Series Rise of the Beast Rhinox. Where do I even start? I, I don't even know where to start. I have a finally, I have a Rhinox. I only have a, I have a one in my collection and you want to know how old it is? It is old as the Frilling 30s line. It is from the Frilling 30s line. And oh my god, that thing is so outdated. And I lost the weapons to him. Yeah. And pieces are broken off of it. And yeah. It, it was getting out of date. So to finally get... When I first got this guy, I was so fucking excited. And am I still excited that I got him? And do I regret getting him? No. I don't regret getting him. I'm still excited that I got him. He is just so freaking cool. Like, I can't wait to wait to have this guy in my collection for years to come. Like, this is an awesome figure. Like, do I recommend you get one? Absolutely, fucking literally, without a shadow of a doubt. This is a fun Rise of the Beast Maximal. I can't wait to try to get my hands on a Cheetor and an Optimus Primal. The Cheetor is going to be the harder one, and I don't know how well I'm going to be able to track down the Primal. Okay. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. But yeah, Transformers, Rise of the Beast, Rhinox. Studio Series. This figure is fucking fun. I can't wait. Can't wait to see what 2024 has in store for me. If if this year's list was this good and filled with so many, who knows how big my 2024 collection, how big the 2024 selection is going to be. 
But yeah, Transformers. Num number one, Transformers Studio Series, Rise of the Beast, Rhinox. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And thank you to every single one of you who have supported me and been by my side through this year. 2023 has been an interesting year for me. It started out bad. It was going pretty well. And then the year, end of the year, kind of bit me in the ass. But other than that, this year has been awesome. And the amount of support I have gotten from every single one of you guys has just been incredible. And I hope you guys will still be there for me when 2024 comes. Thank you all so much for watching these two this two part video because if I did it all in one part it would be way too long and I would probably run out of time and crap cop probably wouldn't even freaking let the video be made but yeah all I want to say is thank you all so much for watching me through this year and helping me out this year all of you my friends my family you all been there for me and thank you just thank you so much for getting me through the hard times this year i i appreciate so i appreciate it so much but i'm gonna go now before i start rambling on about this this is trayman 4014 saying happy new year your boys and girls